Good morning, yo dudes, how you doing? Beautiful, beautiful day. Sun is shining, I'm smiling. Gonna be getting my gonna be getting my tan game on a little bit later. Um, yeah, we've got a pretty cool car lined up for you today. James that sold the PS13 to Andy, which you saw in the previous episode. Uh, his new car has now come in. He's imported a JZX81 from Japan with a good old, good old 1J. Um, so yeah, the car's just arrived. He's brought it down to Andy's. He should be putting some new rims on it, I think, today. I actually quite like the rims he had in it. I haven't seen the car in the flesh. I have seen it in pictures, and it had these really sort of nice wheels that were sort of flush with the arches. I thought they looked pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to see what wheels he's got and what he's planning on, uh, on doing to the car. So yeah, we should be down at Andy's in about five, five, ten minutes. Uh, so yeah, see you guys down there. Peace. I've, I've spotted some spotted some very pimp very pimpness there's Shawnee and there we go one fucking sick JZ what's up sports hello literally filming as you're driving yeah so <laughs> good. why are you health and safety I thought you'd speak inside <laughs> your head we've got famous Sean Sean of Drift Street Imports hi hello <laughs> we got Marky! Hey, What's up dudes? Going, mate, all right. Yeah. I did actually make a video with Mark at one point and then we lost some footage and then we never got around to making it so I promise you this we're going to make another video with him and I said it on camera now more so you're my else, witness. So <laughs> but yeah this is Marky's bad boy Sora. Very nom nom. Oh shit I forgot you've got a nice big set of brakes haven't you? Yeah I've done under the bonnet now as well. Really? Let's have a, let's have a look. So yeah, Mark is a bit of a stick of a super, super clean car. So yeah, every car he's always had since I've known him, they've always been fucking mint. This basically makes my saw look like an absolute shit heap. Uh, yeah, let's have a, have a quick look. Very shiny. That is lovely. Very, very clean, yeah, man. Don't breathe system. All now... Uh... We still stock twins. Still stock twins, mate. Yeah, next year. Still what? Pull out 320, 330 horsepower. Done, yeah, 325. Yeah, 320. Oh, you had it. You had it on the rollers. Yeah, yeah. Play, man. Uh, point nine. Big single? No, not yet. He wants a big single. <laughs> you big you done an R154 manual conversion, haven't you? Yeah. Quick loop. Oh, it's so nice. Got all the black plastics. It is neat in here, man. Okay. How's manual life? Much better. Much better. <laughs> Loving so manual life. Ago. Yeah, Mark used to have this as an auto. He's done an R154 conversion. So yeah, he's like tripled the value of the car. Stock when I got it. Yeah. Well, Were they six six pot D2s? Yeah. Yeah, just need to get the rears. Quite actually fancy one of these bumpers for mine. Have that one if you want, mate. Really? I'm getting rid of that one. Yeah. You're not keen on it? No, I'm gonna go for just a um, VVTI one. Yeah, just like a super style splitter. Ah, uh, okay. I quite like this, man. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get a video done with Marky soon. Uh, yeah. The star of the show today is James's new JZX81. Sporting a bit of nom nom, lovely bit of 1J. These are the old wheels that James is running. Pimp. Blitz wheels, which I think are fucking pimp. The car is jacked up at the moment, so yeah, normally this sits there and it looks pretty fucking ghetto. And these are the, the new wheels he's putting on. Yeah, James is a bit of a sucker for chrome. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you like the chrome wheels or do you like the, the rear wheels? I'm going to say the rear wheels. I actually prefer the darker. I prefer the more sort of gangster look. Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think. Fucking hell, yeah. Look what we just spotted. The bonnet's got some mad fucking paint effect on it. I don't know if you could make it out in the camera. Yeah, I think you can. Angle grinder. That is pretty mad. Very trippy. All right, let's have a quick look inside. Obviously, we've got four doors. More doors for more whores. Oh, we've got a bit of love in the trim. Well, she's brown. Let's have a little sit inside. This is nice, man. It's not actually that different to a 90 inside, a little bit more old school. Is this got like leopard print? It's got leopard print fucking ape in it. Yeah, mad. <laughs> That's quite a cool thing when you import all these cars from Japan. There's always a few sort of hidden surprises. You would find a, a bit of mad styling somewhere. But yeah, it's got leopard print ape pillar trims. You seen the crown, man? That's got that like, furry beep in it uh, on the yeah, outside. Yeah. yeah. What What are you doing with the front? You're gonna change the change the I bumper. Really like the look of the uh, 81 Chaser. Chaser, yeah. I quite like that. Will was saying you'd like the other one, didn't he? Yeah. What James is considering doing is possibly converting the front to like a, a Chaser front end because he prefers the front end of the Chaser, basically. Uh, we shall see what happens. What are you can do about the paint? Going to leave it ghetto. It looks fucking sick though, like this. I like it. It's kind of like missile -y. Exactly. Yeah. You could just give it a quick lick of paint and it's, just tidy it, it up, maybe. Like your Sora. 
<laughs> yeah, my saw at eight. I don't know if you've been watching the same videos as you guys, but yeah. <laughs> my saw at eight mint. Jimbo's got his wheels on now. But we're gonna lower it down. Moment of truth. Is it gonna scrape like fuck or is it gonna look gangster? Ooh. 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 <laughs> I think your t shirt says it, mate. No, no. Oh, that's close, man. That's like Rizzler, Rizzler fitment. Just spotted on the Jays there. We've got these swag little vents at the back on the on the screen which is pretty pretty cool james is going to keep this car like relatively stock for now we'll stock twin turbo wise run like 0 0.8 0 0.9 bar of boost um and then yeah hopefully do some cool skids and yeah the right there we go so that's the chromes all fitted looking nice and snug it's literally about well fucking nothing between there but yeah hopefully it doesn't scrape oh i fell <laughs> oh man <laughs> Got so much length. Heard that. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> that bonnet looks sick, man. Yeah. It's also got these awesome set of metal wind deflectors. I wish mine had metal ones. My plastic ones fucking break all the time. Genuine Toyota. Nom nom. Chromes, you got chromes? Yeah. Sick. And if you've got official Japanese stickers. It's got some ghetto LED interior lights. We've got velour interior, everyone loves a bit of velour. You can obviously see there's a bit of a bit of a thing going with velour. All these, all these old Jap cars came with quite luxurious interiors. What's he got up here? You've got a boost old school HKS boost controller, uh, water temp gauge. What's that? Boost gauge. Sports. More sports. So yeah, overall it's pretty sporty. And in case you forget, it's a Toyota Mark II. Because it says it on the interior mirror. It's got fucking electric folding mirrors, man. Yeah, I know. Just did it. Sick. Did, diddy little wheel. Sounds like it's coming off. Turbo timer under there. So yeah, specs, specs pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully James will get a big fat single turbo on it one day. But yeah, for now, it's a pretty capable drift car. Me and Marky are fucking starving, so we're gonna pop down to the local bakery and get some get some munch. Love a shiny Sora, I must admit, man. It's a fucking lovely car, this. Alright, jump in. Oh, yeah, I forgot you got a roll cage. Yeah. Oh, bastard. <laughs> I've donated, can you donate it to me? I really need one. <laughs> Safety first, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mark's got a nice little uh, Cusco roll cage in here. Exactly what I need for my car. So I can't, I can't go into competition, or proper competition yet, because I haven't got a cage. But I will, I will get one hopefully soon. Just gonna put the seatbelt on. So yeah, Mark's car's pretty cool. As you probably know it's in my car. I've got the light interior. This has got all the dark interior, which does make a massive difference. It looks, it looks nom nom. It looks very yummy. What have you got up here? You got oil, oil temp, exhaust, exhaust temp, nice yeah. man, and AFR. Yeah. Lovely. What's that? Boost controller. Yeah, boost controller. Yeah, mate. Sweet. Nice little bit of naughty. Yeah, we'll do, a, we'll do a proper video on Mark's car. We literally did make one and then somebody lost the footage. I'm blaming Villiers. <laughs> <laughs> Probably me. But yeah, we lost the footage, unfortunately. So we never actually made the video. But yeah, we'll definitely do a proper video on Mark's car. God, it sounds good. Oh, sounds so much nicer than mine, man. But no, it's, yeah, it's really, really nice and tidy in here. Mark's got a cheeky little Recaro bucket seat. Yeah. Old train handle. Thanks to Muzz. Hold on to that. That's, yeah. for, that's for the passengers. You can brace the shit when he's going sideways. <laughs> on a track, of course. Oh, right there. <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah, Mark, Mark had a set of tines on before this, and the bushes actually wore out. So yeah, he's got a set of HSDs on it now. But um, yeah, seems uh, a lot more tight at the rear. Oh. 
Good set of brakes as well, <laughs> set of six parts, DTs. Alright, after our little excursion, we're now down at the bakery. Trying to get over a speed bump. Yeah, speed bump. Oh, Run yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Oh. yeah, this car is quite low, but it does look savage, so yeah. A bit of a, a, a trade-off. <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing on a hot day like today, that black interior does get pretty hot, but it does look, does look lovely. Makes a massive difference, man. Oh, yes. So you can see from the outside, she's uh, she's pretty tidy. I think it's pretty nice as well. You've got the white white wheels, white paintwork. Looks pretty cool. All right, let's go and get some tucker. Let's go and buy some plants. Cheese <laughs> straws. <laughs> Do like a cheese straw. Getting back in the old girl. What's that little thing down there? Oh, it's just for that. Just to change that. Oh, for the gauges. Oh, yeah, yeah, change oh, all the gauges. Who made those gauges? I remember they're pretty decent. They're meant to be pretty decent, aren't they? Yeah, the only thing, you lose your glove box. You lose everything. That's to control all that madness. Yeah, but you can plug it all into the laptop and it uh, data reads. Yeah, so it tells so you, you what you... can get all the readings yeah, off it. Readings, You've got like, yeah. peak, peak warnings and stuff. Yeah, all beeps, yeah. Yeah, nice set of gauges. Back, there's the old JZ sitting pretty. Mm -hmm. cool. So much pimp. High five, motherfuckers. Ciao, boys. Fucking hell, so yeah, we just got in Andy's PS and the harnesses, the weather's still who sat in this last time, but I ain't massive, but they were definitely smaller than me. We got Eddie! We got Lukey! Hi! <laughs> and very rude, very rude, ignore that. <laughs> right, let's do it. We're going out of the PS. Yeah, Fucking hell. Right. So yeah, seven years have passed. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out James has still got to do a few bits of the JZX 81, so we didn't get a chance to drive it today. Um, but the good news is Andy's PS is sort of finished. <laughs> he's never quite happy with it, but um, yeah, he's, he's got it ready. He's been adjusting the accelerator pedal because uh, yeah, it was sticking up quite a lot and it was making it quite uncomfortable to drive. But yeah, here we are. PS is on the road. Me, Andy and John. John's in the back, he's a bit quiet at the moment, but yeah, we, we, might, we might let John do a little dug it later on. <laughs> behaves himself. Yeah, John never behaves himself. This car's still running stock twin turbos, about just under a bar of boost. It's quite a light chassis. What do they, what does it weigh? Probably 1.1 1 .1 tons? Around 1.1. So yeah, compared to my Sora running the same power, uh, obviously the Sora is like 1.6 tonnes, so yeah, it's got a much better power to weight ratio of this car. So it's a little bit, little bit nippier. Fucking rash. Okay. Apparently in YouTube there's like a new swearing thing, so I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Beep. Uh oh. <laughs> Apparently there's some new thing on YouTube where you're not really meant to swear, but I don't know how I'm not going to swear. I know. It's like, it's like, in it's, yeah, it's in built into my vocabulary. <laughs> John, man, stop it! And the indicator fell out. <laughs> the car's literally undressing itself. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're going to do a full review on Andy's car once it's up and running. Uh, bring you guys a nice, nice long video. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it's Dave. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give us a like. Put any comments in the comment section, and we'll see you soon.
Peace.